Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. We got the channel up and running again, and we're in better shape than ever. Also, I have a co-host named Andy. Yellow. He's going to be helping me out with uh, doing restorations, doing customs, as well as editing. And he's the manager of the channel, officially. He's got as much invested in this as I do. Mm -hmm. So between the two of us, we're going to be able to put out more and better content. So we'll put on some PPE. And we'll start this sucker off properly. So I'm going to work on this little Thunderbird. And I thought it was kind of funny because you can just see the remnants here on the side of an O1. So someone painted this thing up like a little General Lee. It doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. These cars that have a lot of paint on them usually are quite protected, except for this roof is all scratched up. So this is what I'm working on today. And Andrew over there, I believe, uh, what do you got, a custom fleet side? <laughs> yes, we have ourselves a custom fleet side. <laughs> I don't know what to say about these things, man. We picked that car because yours is in, in really good shape and it should be a real good beginner car. You can pretty well see that most of the zinc is, it's not rotten. Mm -hmm. So that should be a real simple car. We'll just get that paint off. We'll have a look at the zinc. If it looks really nice, we'll polish it and then just paint it. If the zinc is scratched up like mine, the roof is... Someone went at it, like keyed this thing or something. I'm probably going to have to do some zinc plating, but maybe we'll just zinc plate yours as well. Just so you get the experience of doing it, right? Yep. So I think, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll do the full treatment on these two cars today. And hopefully everything is just uh, hunky-dory at the end. We'll see how you do. Worst case scenario, we'll just repaint it. All right, so I got my mushroom heads removed. Now I'm going to use one of the little flathead screwdriver and I'm going to just gently try to pry my car apart. Hopefully it goes easy. A lot of times, Andy, I'll try to go between the body and the base around the rear wheel. If you could think about sneaking a screwdriver mm -hmm. in between through there, that way I'm not like messing up the trunk lid or the bumper. You're kind of just prying in an inconspicuous spot in there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mine came apart real easy. So hopefully yours oh. is the same. Beautiful. Uh, how's your, is your windshield held in with a little rivet in the center or anything? Just old age and 70s pubic hairs? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, one little tiny metal rivet. Yeah, mine had a, it looks like a rivet, but it's just like a centering pin. So with just this teeny bit of pressure on the windshield, mine just popped right out of there. I expect yours to do the same. Oh, shit, no, it just fell out. Yeah, there you go. So mine's uh, got a bunch of orange paint all over it. So I got to do something with that. And I got some orange paint in my interior. I have to clean out. So here I have a jar of Sure Strip. This is what we're going to use today. Which is a very strong methylene chloride based paint stripper. It's really nasty stuff. So I'm just going to click my little Thunderbird onto a hemostat here. You just submerge it and uh, yeah, we'll come back in a few minutes and... It should be totally clean. In the meantime, Andy, I'm taking my nippers and I'm gonna just cut my old wheels off, my base. A lot of the old timers like to save these wheels, but I'm not an old timer, I don't know about you. I want my blades to be sharp on my new ride. Semi-moist, but really still hard. Ginger snap cookie, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I've ever seen a semi-hard uh, ginger snap cookie. <laughs> so I just picked up my car out of my goop and the whole entire coat of paint came off in one piece and it's just sitting in my in my goop now like the whole paint job is just suspended <laughs> that's awesome okay I'm gonna use my brush here and just uh yeah, remove whatever's left on this Oh yeah, it just comes right off like it's brand new. The stripper is insane. All right, let's see what we got in the jar. We hired you for three hours work and we're gonna get it. All right, we're back from the car wash. 
This is what the Thunderbird looks like overall. It's not bad, it's very toned, as you can see. So I am gonna be doing a zinc plate on this, and Andy, normally what I do in this stage is I look for any kind of flaws in the body that I might be able to clean up or fix or repair. So on my back wheel well here, I have a large piece of flashing left inside the wheel well. I'm gonna to wanna to clean that up before I go and zinc plate. So I got some flashing in here. I'm just going to clean up right here. Just takes a second. This one doesn't look too bad. Got slight flashing in the wheel wells, but you can just clean it up real quick. Well, these new files are sharp. Oof. All right, I got most of my flashing cleaned up over here, Andy, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my little bit of uh, Scotch Bright. I got green Scotch Bright this time. I normally use red. It almost shines as you uh, as you clean. You'll see. I got a bunch of dents in the back here, little pit marks. Could be some light oxidation starting, but more than likely it's just left over from the casting. So this one has a bunch of little pock marks. Do they fill in with the zinc plating? Yes. So anything that's raised right now, like if there's a dent that leaves a crater, Andy, you want to take down the high spots of the crater. You might need a little bit of sandpaper or something like that. Before I get too far ahead of myself, I got a little shot glass here of Super Clean. And I'm just going to soak my windshield. Super Clean does a really good job of breaking up paint that's stuck on plastic. So we're going to just leave this in here and we'll check on it after the car is painted and we'll just see what the progress is like. I'm going to put my interior in there as well. All right, I got mine in the plater. And there's our little T-Bird just sitting in there zinking away. So I'm going to give this probably 10 minutes and I'll check on it. So this is the second of two plating sessions and from here I think I'm going to go straight to a polish. Andy, you probably are going straight to a polish as well. I am going to a polish. Andy did one quick little plate just to freshen up his zinc, get it nice and bright so that both our cars are equally as pimp by the end of this thing. So I guess, yeah, I'm going to clean up the bench here and I'm going to go straight to polishing. All right, I got mine all polished up here. Uh, I believe yours is done too, right? It is. Okay, well the next step then, we are going to go degrease these with some dish soap and hot water and a toothbrush. And then we're gonna go uh, do our paint. And uh, yeah, so I guess next step we're going to the spray booth. So what do you think so far, Andy? Are you enjoying this? Are you hating life? <laughs> What's happening? Well, it is definitely different from uh, anything I've ever done. There's something satisfying about bringing some red lines back from the dead once in a while, but the first one's a little bit stressful. That's for sure. Yes, I feel like I'm doing the uh, first kid helicopter parenting maneuver on this one. <laughs> Once you start doing some interiors, now you just make that your own thing so I don't have to do them. <laughs> That'll be perfect. All right, our car's back from paint. Let's have a look-see. I think she turned out pretty sharp. Fancy, check that out. This particular model, we're gonna do a vinyl top on because it had one when I took it apart. And I also like the vinyl tops. The red we have on here is Spectra Flame Red Paint from the redlineshop.com. And I also have their Magic Black Vinyl Top. That's what we're gonna be using. So as you guys can see, there's been a lot of changes on the channel. Mainly, uh, I've moved. 
To be honest, I wasn't sure if the channel was going to keep going or not, but it was my buddy Andy who was a deciding factor because all this stuff is set up at his place. I was struggling by myself to get videos out every week. That's a pretty big commitment for one person, so. Are you trying to time your walking? Yeah, every time we talk, I'm like, no, man, just just walk <laughs> and go where you gotta go, man. <laughs> All right, now that we got our body nice and painted up, and we got our base all polished up, looking fine, we're gonna mask this off and paint the roof and the bumper. All good. All right, I'm gonna go spray this top. I'm gonna use a little Black Magic Black Vinyl Roof Simulator from the Redline Shop. This stuff's cool. It uh, goes on easy, dries kind of a semi-gloss, looks like vinyl. All right, my vinyl top is drying. Got all the paint off my interior. I just pulled this out of my super clean and that stuff just flaked right off. The windshield isn't as good. Whatever paint they put on here, it started eating, eating away the plastic. So hopefully it's not too damaged. I'm gonna end up sanding both sides of this, probably with 900 to get it kind of smooth and we'll see if I can polish it out and get it shiny again, okay? Okay. I've been trying out these new Dremel, it's kind of like a brass brush, but it doesn't fan out like your typical one of these. I'm going to be pretty liberal with this polish. I don't want it to dry out. I want it to be kind of goopy and soupy. give this a rinse in the sink some hot water and then come back and then do a proper polish with this little polishing disc and just make it all bright and pretty again talk shit about me go ahead and talk boy that's a satisfying improvement right there that thing looks brand new beautiful I like it and put that aside we can put some fresh wheels on that all right, where's my wheels at? Bam, 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 bam. Hopefully all these markers and stuff survive the winter. My old Gundam markers. Yeah, I haven't used any of this stuff in a year or so. Alright, get these axles straight. Alright, we got all our paint applied. Glass is polished, everything's cleaned up. Let's put it back together. So there's my T-Bird up on the turntable. Andy, how did yours turn out? Well, this custom Fleet Mac definitely turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> did you just call it a Fleet Mac? What, what is it? <laughs> a Fleet Cider. <laughs> oh, good Fleet Cider. So out of, your, uh, out of 1 to 10, how would you rate your restoration experience? Did you enjoy yourself? I rated a solid probably maybe a 4 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot more involved in the process than I realized. That's not quite as easy as it looks on video. There's not at all. You make it look so pro and so easy, but behind the scenes, this thing took me like two days. <laughs> Definitely not for everybody. And yeah, it's kind of fiddly. I think that's how Marty puts it. It's fiddly to work on little stuff like this. We don't have any footage saved, but Andy was getting pretty frustrated working on his little car. So... Yeah, like getting back, getting the body back together was pretty hard. Like I had to 
kind of like hone out the posts and stuff and maybe in the next video or two we'll get him uh, working on an interior doing some painting and uh, we'll leave the body work and all the the machining to me for now and uh, there's going to be some videos coming your way so stay tuned and due to editing and magic you're uh you're not going to experience all the expletives i was using either <laughs> hit the subscribe button we'll see you in the next one say bye barry bye everybody I think I got her to fit. I f fit you little.